Hello guys, welcome back. Hello, uh, Roxana, Cynthia, Wendy, good to see you. Let's see. Andrea too, maybe, Dennis, and Alejandra, thank you so much for coming early, right? Okay, so let's start the lesson. I hope you are having a great week. Okay, what did we study yesterday? Vamos a empezar to remind us, right, what we studied yesterday. Okay, can you tell me, let's see, Alejandra, please, what did you learn yesterday? ¿Qué aprendimos ayer? What did you learn or what do you remember from, the, yeah, from yesterday? Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, what about, okay, yes, Alejandra, please tell us. Perdón, tenía desactivado la idea. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. And affirmative sentences yes. and negative sentences. Mm, yes, affirmative and negative sentences, yes. Eh, ¿Cómo formamos una, thank you, Alejandra, ¿cómo formamos, how do we form sentences? Andrea, en la forma afirmativa. ¿Cuáles son las reglas? Hello, teacher. Uh, the first is there. Uh, uh, there. And Complement. Complement. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Andrea, en el caso que she o it, Roxana, what is the rule que aplicamos cuando, when we have he, she, or it? What, what is the rule? Your microphone. Uh, aplicamos el eh, rule el, el ese es en negativas, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo? En negativa. ¿Con qué sujeto? El, el don lo utilizamos con el I, uh -huh. eh, con el we, uh -huh. el they and you. They and you, muy bien. Yes. Ok, thank you, Roxana. Ya tenemos ahí las negativas. Ok, ¿qué pasa? What happens with the affirmative? Let's see. Eh, Dennis, ¿cómo que yo tengo una oración afirmativa? Afirmativa. And, uh, eh, ¿cuál sería la regla? ¿Cuál es el rol que aplicamos? Dennis, hello. hello. Um, repeat, please. Ok, yo tengo afirmativa, sentence. Y estoy utilizando o sea, she, he, or it. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es la regla que aplicamos con el verbo? Agreed. No uh -huh. sé si se pronuncia así. Agreed. Es. Agregar o oh, add. Muy bien. Add. Add, add es. Ok. Add es. Muy bien. Hay que agregar es a todos los verbos o hay excepciones. Um, hay algunas excepciones. Muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Dennis. ¿Cuáles serían una de esas excepciones? Sí, eh, sí Alison. Hello. ¿Cuáles son esas excepciones? Cuando del verbo, right? Utilizando he, he or it. What are some Hello. Questions? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, sometimes exception are when bear finish in white. Mm -hmm. Change the letter. <coughs> uh, I no. Mm -hmm. I E S. Mm -hmm. And when finish in bolo vocal. Very good, very good. Very good. Tenemos el otro ejemplo, right? Que tenemos the vowel. 
a red uh, yes. Okay, we just add yes. Muy bien. That's right. Agregamos. Agregamos. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, okay. tenemos algunas reglas, right? Son muy importantes because we use them a lot. Okay, let's go back to the lessons, the activities that we have for today. And uh, remember that we have a task, right? Tenemos una tarea. So I want to listen to your favorite song. Right? Um, let's do something. No sé si hay volunteers que quieran presentar, who want to present the... Okay, Andrea, thank you, Andrea. Go ahead, please. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. uh, my favorite song, uh, the, the name is Los. Los. Uh, Los. Uh, the song is a uh, Coldplay. It's my favorite band. The band is uh, from England. Uh -huh. And the song is about uh, Never Give Up. Mm -hmm. And talking about uh, if you will never know if you don't try. Yes, and, uh, yes, that's a good song. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yes, that never give up. Try, muy bien. Tenemos ahí un verbo, right? If you don't try, no lo intentamos. If you don't try, nunca lo sabremos. Mm -hmm. You will never know. Okay, tenemos mm -hmm. algo ahí. Thank you, Andrea. Excellent song. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Please, Stephanie, go ahead. Okay. My favorite song is Complicated. The composer is the Ari Lavin. Yeah. Uh, I love the song because I remember my adolescence. <laughs> and a good friends and a good time. Yeah, right. We are in the same, in the same like era, right? Okay, okay. complicated. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> From Avril Lavigne too. Yes, that's that song is was right. Was fue muy uh, was very popular. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you. Uh, Okay, let's listen another one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, no sé. I don't know if there is a volunteer. Volunteers, guys. Okay. Let me. I'm going to choose some. Raquel, please. Raquel, can you present your song, Raquel? Estamos... Hola, hola. Yes, Raquel. Ahorita, ahorita. Ahorita. My favorite song is one. The composer is how baby Hewson Beetle. Uh, uh, now he has a state name uh, is Bono Iris Musician. No sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Musician. Mm -hmm. Musician. Vocalist of the group U2. Oh. Uh, the song. Mm -hmm. The song shared about a love relationship from the past. We, 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 we has been, been and will be someone very important to have to him forever, and that's uh, the situation of this thing is the time to leave her. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is the time, the time to let her go. Okay, se escucha algo triste, a sad song, right? 
Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's listen. Tenemos acá eh, la palabra who, right? Who, quién, who. Tenemos eh, la question, it is time to let her go, de dejarla ir. O si en el caso que estamos hablando de no, let him go, right? Okay, thank you, Raquel. Okay, let's listen another person. Let's see. Volunteers? Do I have volunteers? Okay, Alejandra, thank you. Go ahead. Yo dije me ignoro. <laughs> <laughs> eh, no sé si se puede decir en español porque es como interpreta en español la canción. Mm -hmm. O siempre es en inglés. Yeah, I mean, no tenemos que decir la letra, pero por lo menos de qué se trata, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. My favorite song is Cuando Nadie Ve. Mm -hmm. eh, the Composite in the Morat from Colombia. Mm -hmm. uh, the song is about two friends uh, who, pardon, see, who are in love, mm -hmm. but it is an impossible love. Really, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Qué triste, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Dicen que las canciones, eh, nos, nos recuerdan a algo, right? A ver, aquí le recuerdo a usted, Alejandra. <laughs> <laughs> An impossible love. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Let's listen another person. ¿Alguien más? Somebody else who wants to share? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to choose. Everybody is going to participate. Okay, let's listen to... Uh, Jose Gomez, please. Good evening. Good evening, Jose. Yeah. What is your favorite song um, about? Okay. Um, my favorite song is Gema. Mm -hmm. The computer, computer, is the dandies from Mexico. Mm -hmm. and, and the song is about, it is uh, most precious, Preciosa, no sé cómo se dice. Precious. Uh -huh. Precious. Uh -huh. eh, in the most beautiful in the life. Uh -huh. Okay, it is okay. about, uh, ¿de qué se trata? What is it about? About the beautiful eh, person. Beautiful, uh -huh. este, trata del amor a la vida. Oh, Cantar. it is yeah. about the love for uh -huh. life, right? Okay. Ok, interesante. Me suena como es algo de la nature, right? Algo okay. así. Like that. Ok, thank you, José. So let's listen another person. Let's see. Wendy Alvarado, please. Tell us about your favorite song, girl. Hello. Uh, my favorite song is Paradise. The, com the compositor is the Coldplay. Mm -hmm. The From Reino Unido. Uh -huh. United Kingdom. Uh -huh. Ajá, exactamente. The song is about the paradise. When she was used a girl, she expected the world, but it fly away uh -huh. from her eh, race. No sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. R-E-A-C-H. Uh -huh. Rich. Rich. Oh, okay. oh Rich. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, so she ran away in the hair sleep, uh, dreaming of the para, para, para. Of the paradise. Uh -huh. Hey, paradise. Paraíso. Yes, right? Okay. okay, that's a beautiful song. Yes, a good one. I love it. That song. It was very popular. It was very popular, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's listen another... Uh, let's listen a boy, right? Let's listen to Jonathan. Go ahead, Jonathan. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Jonathan. My favorite song is Wherever You Will Go. Mm -hmm. The composer is the calling. I like song why told about 
who will be there to take his place when the when he gone she need his love and to light the shadow in her face mm -hmm. uh, he go wherever she will go oh qué romantic that is so romantic jonathan Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he will be, he will go wherever, wherever she goes, right? Okay, interesting song. Okay, that sounds romantic. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. So let's listen another. Let's see. Uh, Karina, please. Karina Hill, can you share with us your favorite song? Good evening. Good evening, Karina. My favorite song is the sky open the composer is the christine declaro from america mm -hmm. this song is about journey for the presence of good of god in our life in our life mm -hmm. es como entrar a la presencia de dios en nuestra vida de eso habla la alabanza la oh mm -hmm. it is about god right mm -hmm. About God's presence. La presencia de Dios, right? God's mm -hmm. presence. Okay, thank you. Very uh, an interesting song. What is the name of the composer? Christine Declaro. Oh, Christine Declaro, yes. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. sings so beautifully. Ella canta beautifully. She mm -hmm. sings beautifully. Yes, I heard some of the songs. Okay. So thank you, Karina. Let's listen to another person. Let's see. Victor, please go ahead. Good, good evening. Good evening, Victor. My, my favorite song is mm -hmm. Me de que a perderte. No sé cómo sería en inglés. Is, if uh, it is in Spanish, in the, the Spanish. Ah, okay, okay. The con the con Poser. Mm -hmm. The composer is Alejandro Fernandez, Mexican artist. Uh, the song is about a person who lost his love. The gear got bored of waiting for him. Okay, okay, okay. An interesting song. Dicen que las canciones indican la personalidad, right? I don't know if that is true. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting song. Vicente Fernandez, right? He was a great songwriter. Okay, thank you, Victor. Another person, let's see. Gabriela Beatriz, please. Can you share with us your favorite song? Good evening. Good evening, Gabriela. Yeah, my favorite song is Amazing Day. Uh, the composer is Coldplay from England. Uh, the song is about a couple where they have an amazing day together in a roof mm -hmm. and they are in love and feel so good. Ah, okay. Is that a new song or is that an old one? Is it new? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so in the middle, right? Okay, thank you, Gabriela. So let's listen another person. Let's see who is listening. Dennis, did you present your song? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite song is God of the Impossible. Mm -hmm. The composer is the Marcos Barriento from Mexico. Um, the song is about um, the power of God to make the impossible possible for the glory of his name. Oh, Marco Barrientos, yes, yes, he has beautiful songs. Okay, it's about God, that song. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Okay, let's listen one more person, maybe please. Do you have your song? Good evening. Good evening, maybe. 
My, my favorite song is Fuiste Tú. The composer is Ricardo Arjona. He is from Guatemala. The song is about the love and a relationship. Okay, it's about a relationship, right? A relationship, una relación, right? A relationship about a couple, creo, right? Maybe. Creo que está yes, yes. About a relationship. And this is a Guatemala composer. Right? The best. Okay, eh, no sé, Roxana, if you have already present your song, Roxana, did you present it? Good evening. Good evening, Roxana. Um, my favorite song is Waymaker. Uh, Priscilla Bueno is the singer from Waite in the Spanish version. Mm -hmm. version. This song talks about how good touch it every hair and work miracles mm -hmm. in the life of those who trust in him. Yeah, Waymaker. It was originally that song in the U.S., right? Originalmente it is from the USA. So English and Spanish are both great. Ambas son muy buenas. Okay, thank you, Roxana. So let's listen another uh, person. Let's see who is missing. I think Sofia Portillo is missing, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. The name, the name of my favorite song is Another Break in the Wild. It, the composer is the band the Pink Floyd mm -hmm. and it's about the norms imposed to the people since the school for create one part more of the society re repetitive mm -hmm. and sumis. Yes, it, it was about the, the school system, right? Yeah. We deciding by right? the school system of that time. Yes, I, even though it is old. Muy, um, de los años 80, I think, I'm not quite sure, but it is a good one, right? Okay, perfect choice. Okay, let's listen another, I think it is missing Cynthia, right? Hello, Cynthia. Hello, good night. Hello, hello, Cynthia, good evening. Yeah, and um, my favorite song is the Nailo. The compositor is the Zoe from the Mexico. Mm -hmm. And the song is thought about the love of the couple and mm -hmm. the love of the friendship. And Romans and Romans Smith of my friends. Okay, it's about friendship, is it? Yes. Okay, it's yes. about friendship, right? So Cadena and a friendship. Okay, nunca lo he escuchado, but it sounds interesting. What is the name of the band? Zoe. Zoe, like this? Yes. Zoe. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Cynthia. So is you there somebody else que me haga falta? Is there somebody else who is missing? No, no more. Okay. Okay, good. So let's move on to the lesson. Thank you so much for doing the homework, right? That will help you, first of all, to you. Para que podamos practicar the, the part of speaking. Okay, let's move on to the topic that we have for today. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about, to learn about the yes, no questions, right? Using the simple present. Let's have las preguntas, short uh, answers. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about first, about this review. Okay, let me ask you this. In your case, let's see. In the case of the doctors, I know that they don't see me much, right? So, I guess Wendy no debe de dormir mucho, I guess. But what about uh, maybe, okay, Sofia Portillo, tell me. Do you get enough sleep? Do you get enough sleep, Sofia Portillo? Dormes suficiente to get enough Yes. Yes. Do you yes. have trouble sleeping, Sofia? Uh, 
No sé qué significa travel. Travel, problemas, like. Problem, ah, no. no. No? No. Ok, usted se duerme the first moment. No problems. <laughs> yeah. Ok, no that's problem. good. That's good. Ok, let's read this about enough, about sleep, right? Okay, can you help me please uh, to read? Uh, maybe Cynthia, can you help me? Cynthia, Steph, to read. Okay. Do mm -hmm. most people get an open sleep? If you think not, you are correct. The National Sleep Foundation and 2010 Sleep in America will show that sleep is problem for many people about and seven, 75 oh. mm -hmm. percent agree the poor sleep can affect their reward or family relationships. How are you ready to sleep habit to think out and with the software question below? Okay, so vamos a ver entonces, we're going to answer this, right? I'm going to ask you some of you. Ustedes me indican si tienen eh, enough sleep. Ok, veamos, Víctor. Do you fall asleep in the 30 minutes or less? Yes. Rápido, quickly, right, Víctor? Yeah, ok, yes. So Víctor yeah. says that he sleeps quickly in the first 30 minutes. What about you, Dennis? Do you have trouble falling asleep? Yes. Tenemos problemas, Dennis? Do you have trouble falling yes. asleep? Yeah. Yes, I understand that problem. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Okay, what about you, Karina? Do you suffer from insomnia, Karina? No. No? Okay. No. That's like you. Okay. <laughs> no tenemos insomnia, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Andrea? Does stress keep you awake? Does stress keep you awake? Uh, teacher, I... What is the, the question? Oh, it means... Awake. ¿No? Awake. Awake, despierta. Despierta. Si el estrés la mantiene como despierta, usted le cuesta ah, yes. dormirse por el estrés. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Entiendo. I yes. understand you. Yes. Okay, thank you, Andrea. What about you, Wendy? Do you take any sleep medication? Do you take any medication? No. No, no, right. It is bad, in fact, right? Yeah, <laughs> but for example, I have some teas that are good too. Let's go with number six. Do you wake up during the night? What about uh, you, Alejandra? Do you wake up during the night? In español, es si me cuesta levantarme, no? Si se levanta durante la noche. Ah, a veces, yes. Yes, entonces tenemos, we have problems, right? Mm -hmm. A veces to go to the bathroom, sometimes you are yes. stressed. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about uh, you? Uh, let's see, Stephanie and Raquel. Hello, Stephanie. Hola. Okay, so do you wake up too early in the morning? Espere. Uh -huh. Este, me, quiero entender la, 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 la frase, espérese. Uh -huh. Si yo Do you wake up too early. Si me levanto. levanto demasiado temprano. Demas, ajá, demasiado uh -huh. temprano. No. 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 <risa> no. Especially <risa> on, on weekends, right? Realmente right. los fines de semana. <risa> no, okay. Me encanta dormir, me encanta dormir. Ok, that's good, right? Vamos a vivir a lot. Okay, perfect, Stephanie. So, what about uh, you, Jose? We have the next question. Do you feel very tired in the morning? Uh, 
Um, um, so so. So so, let's say so, yes, so. right? Okay, okay, so son algunas de las questions, right? I have to find out, to find out uh, whether we have a good sleep or we have not enough sleep. Tenemos dos palabras por acá que son las O, tenemos las que son um, the service. La diferencia es que la poll es más corta, hay right? unas cinco preguntas, puede ser más cerradas, but they're very short. En cambio, las service son como más largas, le evalúan, eh, eh, por ejemplo, algo, algún estudio que se está haciendo. Eh, ese es más que todo de difference. No sé si hay alguna duda about uh, any of the words that we have there. No questions? Okay, perfect. Vamos a ver entonces, let's go with the, uh, the topic by the grammar section that we have for today. And uh, before <coughs> starting, vamos a tener listening, vamos a hacer un listening for you to improve or write the, that part. Tenemos dos palabras, two expressions or two idioms, los idioms son como unas expresiones que ellos utilizan, the American people, they use a lot, right? Tenemos the expression throw in the tower, right? That means give up, rendirse o aceptar la derrota, accept defeat. Tenemos una oración, uh, Jim realized he couldn't continue the race. So he threw in the tower. Tiro la toalla, right? He threw in the tower. Then we have put on pounds. Gain weight. Ganar peso, right? Gain weight. So estas palabras las vamos a escuchar en el listening. Let's go ahead with that. Y ustedes me van, lo van a escuchar and then they're going to tell me what the listening is about, right? Let me just turn to you there. Okay, let's see. Any questions, Cynthia? Veo que tenemos la mano levantada. No? Okay. No teacher, sorry. No problem. Okay, let's go. Okay, vamos a escucharlo, and then you tell me de qué se trató, right? what it is about. Stephanie, really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't route a bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Hmm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. Okay, um, what it is about. ¿De qué se trató? Some ideas, some sentences. Una, yep. One sentence, it's perfect, right? Uh -huh. He has an uh, exercise program. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, right. Esa es la idea principal. They, ha they are talking about an exercise program. Exactly, perfect, Gabriela. Okay, so vamos entonces to complete this part. 
hay una expresión acá que sí fuera bueno que la pensáramos, que es I don't buy it. I don't buy it. No lo creo. I don't buy it. Entonces, si van a escuchar, they're going to listen that a lot. I don't buy it. Ok. So let's listen y completamos eh, the, the, the exercise right, that we have here. Okay, ready, guys? Okay, ready, let's go. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no. Oh, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Hmm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy this story. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try to do it together. Let's see, what does the men usually do on Mondays and week Wednesdays? He runs. He runs. He runs. Okay, let's see. He runs. Okay, yes, right. Aquí tenemos the same things. I almost always go jogging. For about, trotar, right, jogging. For about half an hour. Okay, then we have before he goes out to exercise, he, we have stretching. Stretches. Stretches. Okay, that's right. Then we have the men lift weights to? And stretching his muscles. Okay, yes, right. Okay. To strengthen, right, his muscles. Para fortalecer sus músculos. His muscles. And uh, then we have the men goes hiking on Saturdays to borrow way from overeating over overeating over okay let's see ah, over <laughs> oh, no. it was to get rid right of his worries from the week para alejarse right ah, okay uh, de sus preocupaciones de la semana Okay, let's see the next one. What does the man do on Sundays? ¿Qué es lo que él hace? What does he do? Relax and watch TV. Okay, let's see. He relaxes. Oh, he goes for a walk, right? Con el perro, with the dog. Okay, aquí está, right? With the dog for a walk. Okay, tuvimos, salimos bastante bien. Okay, so don't worry, eh, la parte de listening es más que todo práctica. Este, esta página ya se la he compartido en el grupo de WhatsApp para que usted lo pueda practicar. Eh, adicional a eso también vamos a encontrar el script, right? Tenemos el script acá en esta página. Usted escucha y eh, lo va repitiendo. You repeat the, the sentences. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new... Okay, so, les recomiendo esta página para que ustedes puedan aprender vocabulary aquí de esta mujer. Les dan a lot of exercise, right? If you want to practice. Okay, so, no sé si hay dudas o cosas. That was a practice, right? For the listening part, que más que todo, the speech, like that. Okay, let's go with the grammar section. Vamos a entender the grammar part, la gramática. It's important para que podamos hablar bien. So that's why I like it. So we have the, uh, the questions, right? Las preguntas. 
yes, no questions en este tipo de preguntas. We just want to know a yes or a no. Solo queremos saber un sí o un no. Pregunta cerrada. So we have um, the structure. Al principio vamos a escribir el do o el das. En el caso del do, lo vamos a utilizar con I, you, we, they. Y vamos a agregar el verbo, hacer complemento y el question mark. En el caso de he, she, or it, vamos a utilizar el das, el verbo, and the complement. Tenemos las respuestas. Uh, en el caso de I, you, we, they, you can say yes, I do, o no, I don't. En el caso de he, she, it, yes, she does. En el caso de que sea negativa, no, she doesn't, or no, he doesn't. Basically, eso es lo que es todo la, la parte, la estructura of the questions. So, no sé si tengamos any doubt about this topic. What we have to learn, lo que tenemos que aprendernos is this part, right? And uh, the answers to based on the subject. De acuerdo a cada sujeto, así como vamos a utilizar los auxiliares. Okay, let's practice some questions. Let's see, uh, Jose, do you, uh, do you wake up early, Jose? Do you wake up early? Sorry, sorry. Do you wake up early, Jose? Do you wake up early? Early, early. Temprano, nos levantamos temprano. Do you wake up early? Mm. Yeah, I says affirmative. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ahora usted le hace una pregunta to Alejandra, please. Okay. <clears throat> Different, right? Different. Sí. Ah, uh -huh. la misma. Another <laughs> one. <laughs> um, and, quiero ver, quiero ver. Temprano. ¿A quién? ¿A quién? Alejandra, yes, Alejandra. Alejandra, do you sleep? Do you sleep? Eight hours? Do you sleep eight hours? Podemos agregar. Do you sleep today? Do you sleep? Do you do? Mm -hmm. You live today. Mm. No. Mm, no. No podemos cambiar. Do you sleep like uh, eight hours? Maybe eight hours or this afternoon? Every afternoon. Do you sleep every afternoon, Alejandra? No, I, I'm not. I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Bien, I don't. Okay. Ahora usted, a question, please. To, let's see, to uh, Emma, please. Una pregunta a Emma. Do you have, uh, perdón, do you, sí, do you dance, podría ser? Do you dance? In the uh, party? In the party, muy bien. Do you dance in the parties? Emma, do you dance No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Muy bien. Ahora le pregunto a Jonathan. Jonathan, does Emma, does Emma dance in the parties? No, she doesn't. Very good. Okay. No, she doesn't. Okay. Jonathan, a question to Karina Hill, please. Karina, uh, do you like wrongs in the morning? Wrong. Do you like to run again? Do you like to run? In the morning. No. No, 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 I, no, I like to run in the morning. 
<laughs> okay, no, I don't write. Don't, I don't write in the morning. Okay, you don't like right? New Romance. Mm -hmm. To run in the morning. Mm -hmm. To run in the morning. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see, Victor. Does Karina like to run in the morning? Mm -hmm. Does Karina like to run in the morning? No. Uh, no. Uh -huh. Repeat. Uh -huh. Does Karina like to run in the morning? Does Karina like to run in the morning? ¿Le gusta Karina correr in the morning? Uh, no, does, does, sería, does Karina like? No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Muy bien, okay, very good. Does Karina like to run? Mm -hmm. estamos hablando de ella, vamos a utilizar el doesn't, right? Okay, no sé si hay dudas or questions. No questions? Okay, perfect. So, recordemos también que en las preguntas, cuando estamos hablando de he, she, or it, no le vamos a agregar nada al verbo, right? No le vamos a agregar ese, ese, el verbo es normal. Lo que cambia es el do, o el do, dependiendo del sujeto. Ok, let's go with some practices. You are going to help me. Ok, Dennis, me va a ayudar y me va a indicar if the question needs to or does, y me va a decir la respuesta, right? Tenemos el ejemplo. Do you get up early? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Let's do number three, please. Tenemos the sun wake you up. Do the sun wake you up? Oh, you know. Sería dos, 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 it. Dos, this way, you up. Okay. And la respuesta. Yes. What is the meaning? Que si el sol te despierta o te le hace levantarte. Yes, I do. Ok, como estamos hablando del sol, ¿verdad? Yes, it oh. does. Ok. En el caso que sea negativo, diría no, it doesn't. Ok, thank you, Denise. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Can you help me? Let's see. Maybe number three, please. Tenemos your alarm clock play music. Do. Okay, estamos hablando de your alarm. Sería un objeto, right? Clock. Do. Exacto, sería das. Okay, thank you. Y la respuesta que me gustaría, ¿cuál sería, cuál sería la answer? Yes, I does. No. It does. Muy bien. O no, no, I does. It doesn't. Ok, very good, maybe. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Let's see. Can you help me? Andrea, please. Andrea María. Tenemos you often go back to sleep. I think it's a do. Yes, right, porque tenemos you right. And the answer, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Do you right? Do you often go uh, back? Yes, I, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Exactly. Yes, I do. Or no, 
I don't. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next one, please. Can you help me, Alison? Number four, you like mornings. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Sería entonces yeah. do, right? Yes. Do. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Y las demás es igual, right? Tenemos el sujeto you. Va a permanecer tal como lo estamos haciendo en esta. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. Questions about this? No questions, guys. Okay, no questions, right? Okay, let's practice right with your partners. So, antes so vamos a hacer this practice antes de irnos a los breakout rooms. Y usted también va a escuchar, vamos a escuchar to native speakers. Que usualmente cuando están hablando, eh, Hacen, pronuncian el do you de una forma más rápida. Vamos cómo lo hacen para cuando usted lo escuche, usted identifique que es do you. Okay, let's listen. Page 106, Unit 9, Exercise 2.3, Pronunciation Focus, do you. In speaking, people often say, do you very fast it can sound like one word do you. always write do you as two words but say it fast so it sounds like one word okay and se está diciendo right que ellos usualmente hacen el sonido do right but uh, it is to you okay no sé si do that's about this part no. ¿Podría repetir la, la pronunciación de, de la vibratura? Ok, it is you, right? You. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. You. But lo vamos a escuchar bastante rápido. Okay, vamos a escuchar these examples. Vamos a escuchar these ones para que identifiquemos, right, how fast they speak. No se escucha. Oh, really, really. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <coughs> Perdón. Sorry. Let's, let's listen. Vamos a escuchar some of them. Maybe Do you, you study with music on? Six. Unit 9. Exercise 2.3. A. Pronunciation yes. focus. Do you? Do you fall asleep with music on? Do you like loud music? Do you dance when you listen to music? Do you listen to music all the time? Do you study with music on? Do you sing along to music? Do you have an MP3 player? Okay, there you have right some of the pronunciation when they say do you, when they say very fast. Do you. Like you, right? Very, very fast. Okay, so that was the Page Let's one. Let's go to the exercise. Vamos a completar this section, right? And una vez lo terminemos, you practice the conversation with your partner. Try to read it. And then you are going to present it here, the information. 
then uh, you are going to ask your classmate these questions, right? Uh, for example, do you fall asleep with the TV on? And if it is yes, you're going to write the name here. If it is not, you can write a no plus the name too. Questions? Esa última parte del name, no la entendí, no la entendí muy bien que íbamos a poner. Okay. For example, estamos trabajando with your partner, right? Uh, you are going to ask the question. Vamos a hacer las preguntas utilizando the expressions we have here. Okay, for example, estoy trabajando con José, right? José, do you fall asleep with the TV on? So, yes. Yes, right. Yes. I do, para así que nos responda. Y agrego el nombre. José. Okay, okay, guys. So let's go and uh, remember two activities for a YouTube track. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms.
Sharia. Do you? Hello, Dennis and Victor. Do you have questions? Tenemos dudas. Teníamos que completar los dos los dos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Yes, the two exercises, the two conversations, practice, right? And uh, then you are going to ask your partner. Vamos a hacer las preguntas eh, de la yellow box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no questions? Uh, no. Okay, perfect. Then I let you work, guys.
Mm. Ay, no, ya nos va a regresar a la clase. <laughs> don't worry, Alejandra, don't worry. I, I'm here to, to ask if you have questions. Yes, si uh, tengamos dudas, questions. Eh, una consulta, teacher. En la conversation number one, Uh -huh. en... donde dice Lucy creo que es Lucy, sí uh -huh. so, en ese caso sería so, do uh -huh. your brother all the cooking mm, acordémonos de la estructura ¿ver? primero va el auxiliar que sería do o das después uh -huh. el sujeto y después el verbo ahí nos están ah, dando okay. el sujeto y el verbo entonces, uh -huh. la falta. Al revés. ¿Qué verbo vamos a utilizar ahí? Perdón, no lo escuché, teacher, se cortado. Perdón, este, ahí nos dan el sujeto y el verbo. El verbo, ajá. Sería your brother, nos están dando do. Ajá. Entonces, nos haría falta el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Que es el que nos ayuda a hacer las preguntas. ¿Qué auxiliar vamos a ocupar? caso sería ya ver do estamos hablando de your brother ajá sería dasen y das okay dasen do, solo das das, das. y luego ajá al sujeto, that's your brother, your brother. ok Do all the cooking uh -huh. recuerden, primero va okay. a auxiliar, ¿verdad? ya sea do o das uh -huh. el sujeto y luego el verbo ok uh -huh. en el caso de En la otra que tenemos dudas donde dice nice, nice. sería do you and your family uh -huh. see them often? Así sería. Oh, okay. ahí me dijo que era do o das. Ah, perdón, sería das, perdón. Ok, siempre que tengamos end nos indica un plural. No sé si es un plural, vamos a utilizar. Das. Do. Perdón, me perdí. Tú. Bueno. Que tenemos dos sujetos, ¿verdad? O tenemos el sujeto you y tu familia. Como que estamos hablando de nosotros. ¿En cuál, perdón? ¿Cuál sería esa? Ah, en la que dice nice. Nice. Uh -huh. entonces, entonces sería do you and your family. Eh, la segunda conversación, vea. Exacto. Sí. Right. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Ese sería do you and your family see them often. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, nos dejo trabajar entonces. Gracias, eh, teacher. Thank you. La otra parte, no sé cómo vayamos. ¿Ya la terminamos o no ya? Mm, todavía está, estamos. Vamos. estamos en esto. Sí, por el tiempo, les digo, para darles un poquito más de tiempo. Sí, sí solo todavía nos estamos falta. ahorita. Ok, perfecto. Los dejo trabajar. I let you work, guys. No Thank work. you, Thank you, teacher. Thank you.
así como entre, entre yes, sería yes they yes they don't the yes, yes, yes. they yes they do sí verdad sí hablando de la tabla ay teacher <laughs> questions cómo vamos estamos which part yes ya terminamos. terminamos las dos conversations and the questions. Yes. 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 Okay, please delight me with the first conversation. Me indican la primera conversation, please. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, pues do, you, <laughs> do you fall? Do you fall asleep? with the TV on? No, no el primero, el primero, la conversación. Ah, 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 ok. Conversation one. Conversation one. Alison. Vaya. No, José, ¿y qué? Ok. Vaya, yo soy Lucy. Ok. Sí. Vaya. Do you and your brother share the cooking? Um, José. José. Um, no. No hay don, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No hay don. I am angry. Bas. With the school. So, do you, brother, all the cooking? Do you. Do your brother? Um, yes, okay. Yo, okay. yes, yes, do, do your. He's a great cookie. Cook. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he does. A uh, great cook. Does he work in the in a restaurant? Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh, does he go to cooking school? No, he doesn't. No, no, he doesn't use love food. He just loves food. Okay. Yeah. Number, number two. The second. Okay. Okay. Eh, no sé, hay... Rusia. ¿Por qué? Me confundieron. <risa> no, Alison, usted sea Lucy. Ok. okay. Do, do, your, ¿Do your grandparents like nervy? No sé, usted va a ser o soy yo. Ok, ok. Yes. Yes, they do lie next door. Nice. Do you do you and your family see them often? Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. They are at the hospital lot. Oh, I'm sorry. Do they need help? No, they don't. The uh, fin the the work there a volunteer in the hospital. Oh, the do do they visit parents and help the nurse? No, they don't. They both work in the hospital grief show. Okay, perfect. Vamos a detenerlos en the. Vamos a ver pronunciation, algunas palabras. Okay. Visitors are good. Están muy bien. Just vamos a ver some of the words. Check pronunciation. Tenemos la palabra nearby. Right? Nearby. Cercano. Nearby. Tenemos often. 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 Eh, often. 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 
tenemos la siguiente. Fine. 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 Tenemos también, recordemos el verbo live. 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 El verbo, ese es live, porque esa es lo que dicen live. Mm. Es que hay que tener cuidado con ese verbo live. Live. Uh -huh. Let's see another. Oh, tenemos la siguiente palabra. Busy. 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 Okay. Busy. Busy. Uh -huh. Busy. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, very good. Las oraciones están eh, excelentes. Right. Okay, let's go with this part, please. Okay. okay. <coughs> in this, uh, only a question in, uh -huh. and say the answer both. Oh, for example, in your case, Alison, that you ask them both, you can say, for example, in Jose, Jose and uh, Stephanie, Jose and Stephanie, en el caso que le dijeron, yes, right, they mm -hmm. fall asleep with the TV okay. on. En el caso que sea negativa, me puede decir, Jose doesn't fall asleep. En el caso que sea, en el caso de Steph, de, perdón, de, de Allison. ¿Quién está hablando? Sí. Oh, sí. Ok, en el caso que sea, por ejemplo, de Stephanie. Te diga que es afirmativa la, pre, la, la pregunta. Stephanie eh, falls asleep music. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Utilizando ya sea la forma afirmativa o la negativa. Podemos ir una y una como para avanzar. Yes, we can, Alison, we can. Qué buena negociante, Alison. <risa> ok, si quieres comience, José. Okay. La primera. Ok. Eh, do you fall and sleep with, with the TV on? Um, eh, puedes ir acá, teacher. Yes, they they do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Sí, porque las dos dijeron Yo que, que sí. Ellas, ¿verdad? Perdón. Estamos hablando de ellas, right? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, ya. Yeah. Eh, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. sí. Oh, I sleep music. Uh, no, Jose don't. And Alison, uh, yes, and Alison, uh, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, the chair. Uh, do you told in, in your, en esa tengo una pregunta. Is do you talk in your sleep or in this case for Jose is do you talk in his help uh, sleep? If we are talking directly to, for example, to the person, you can say, do you talk in your sleep, right? Okay. If it is directly, but if you are talking about him, you can say, Jose talks in his sleep, right? Okay, okay. Estamos okay, in this. Mm -hmm. uh, does fall in. Do you, do you talk in your sleep? Uh, Jose. Uh, no, he don't. And uh, Raquel. Oh, no, she does. No. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> you see. <laughs> He's so no, confused. <laughs> okay, perfect, Alison. Okay, vamos a terminar hasta acá porque ya los demás creo que ya terminaron. Okay, guys. Okay. Este sí. Mientras tanto, mientras estamos escuchando a los demás, sí les pediría que organicemos la respuesta de esta sesión. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys.
guys. Thank you so much for coming. So let's continue with uh, this section. Let's see. Andrea, can you please help me with who is your partner, Andrea? Who is your, who is your partner? Uh, Emma. Emma, okay. Can you, okay, in the first conversation, please, ustedes, the answers you have. And uh, Andrea, you are going to be Lucy, and Malia is going to be, who is your partner? Emma. 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 Okay, and Emma is going to be Malia. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, conversation one. Uh -huh. Do you and your brother share the cooking? No, we don't. I am always bossing with school. So, does your brother do all the cooking? Yes, he does. He is a great cook. Uh, does he work in a restaurant? No, he doesn't. Oh, does he go to cooking school? No, he doesn't. He just loves food. Seguimos la conversación dos. No se le escucha, teacher. Sorry, yo bien inspirada aquí. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, thank you, Emma and Andrea. Vamos a dar la oportunidad a eh, Gabriela and Roxana. Please, go ahead, ladies. The second one. Yeah, please, the second conversation. Uh, does your grandparents live nearby? Yes, they do. They live next door. Uh, nice. Uh, do you and your family see them often? No, we don't. They are at the hospital a lot. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Do they need help? No, they not. Uh, they are fine. They work the they were there, they volunteer at the hospital. Oh, uh, do they visit parents and help the nurse? No, they not. They both work in the hospital gift shop. No, they don't. They both work. Right, okay. Vamos a revisar entonces. Tenemos you and your family. Vamos a utilizar do, right? Do you and your family. Porque tenemos two subjects, right? No, y como estamos hablando de nosotros, no, we don't. Then we have they, right? Do they? Do they need? No, they don't. Then we have lo mismo, right? Do they? Do they visit? Visit? No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, very good. No sé si do that about uh, apart from the conversations, questions. Okay, eso es para que lo revisemos, right? If it's correct or not. Mm -hmm. No questions. Okay, good. So let's move on to the next uh, questions, right? In esta parte, ustedes me van a decir, por ejemplo, las respuestas de sus compañeros. Eh, no sé, we wrote the examples, right? Por ejemplo, que ya haya trabajado con Gabriela, Gabriela respondió con yes. Entonces, yo voy a decir la respuesta de Gabriela. Gabriela. Uh, falls asleep, right? The TV on. Gabriela. Reportando, right? What she says. Okay. Decimos la primera. I want to listen. 
Next one. Can you help me? Let's see. Uh, Dennis, please. The next one, number two. ¿Qué les respondieron? What did they answer? Okay. Um, yes, Victor does with the far asling to music. Mm -hmm. Victor? Mm -hmm. Does. Victor, okay. Victor, yes, he does, right? En este caso, como estamos hablando de lo que él eh, hace, respondió en this case, yes. Does Victor falls asleep? Asleep to music, right? Okay, perfect, Dennis, thank you. Okay, the next one, Karina, please, number three. What what did they answer? Uh, say yes, yes, yeah, yes. Paul is here on her sleep. Uh -huh. uh, entonces, uh, ella respondió que she she talks in here on her sleep. She talks in her. Sleep, right? Sí. Muy bien, como estamos hablando de... Sí, sí, sí. Como si le dije Raquel, pero no, como no digo el nombre, digo sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Podemos decir okay. Raquel también. Both. Ah, Raquel so, talks uh -huh, in her sleep. Okay. Raquel, Raquel uh -huh. talks in her sleep. Okay. Sleep. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, what about the next one? What do you have... Um, Let's see, uh, Cynthia, Esther, ¿qué tenemos en la number four? Dreams a lot. That's... Um, what, what do Sophia you have? no dreams a lot. Sophia no dreams? Um, a lot. ¿Cómo podemos hacer esto en negativa? Sofía. Vamos a arreglarla, Sofía. Doesn't, right? Doesn't dreams a lot. Dreams? Dream a lot. Uh -huh. A lot. Ah, okay. Perfect, thank, thank you. you. The next one, let's see. Eh, Raquel Segura, number five. Tenemos la uh, oración remembers his or her dreams. Ese es un misterio, right? Recordar, remembers. His or her dreams. Okay, tell me, please. Okay. Vamos a ir again. Hello. No. Okay, Roxana, estamos ahí, Roxana. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. okay Raquel. A mí me tocó Sería Karina sometimes. Karina sometimes. Yes. Karina me gusta. I like that. And sometimes sleeps or remembers, right? Is that true, Karina? Sí, yes, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, right? Sometimes remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here <laughs> sleep. Dream <laughs> sleep. <laughs> It's a mystery, ¿verdad? A veces no nos recordamos, a veces yes. It's a mystery. Okay, so what about the next one? Wendy, please. Number seven. Walks in his or her sleep. Muchas personas que caminan, right? In his or her sleep. Tell me about that answer. Number, <laughs> Number six. Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. Casi no, no, no se escucha, Wendy. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, okay. Uh -huh. No. Maybe. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Uh -huh. Doesn't not. Uh -huh. Oh, wall. Uh -huh. Or in sleep. Okay, she doesn't walk in her sleep, right? In her sleep. 
Ok, interesting question, right? No sé cuántos caminan cuando están dormidos, but there are many people who walk. And uh, the next one, please. Hits the snooze button two or three times. What do you have, Jonathan? The snooze button, right? In this case, the cell phone, right? We use more the cell. Okay, Jonathan, what do you Sorry. have? Sorry. It's another concern, Jose. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, can you help me? Jose, what do you have in that one? What happened? Um, Who is, do you? Mm -hmm. um, it's called. Ahí es de responder, ¿verdad? Ya bien solo. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, uh, hablamos con, con Raquel. Oh, Raquel. Okay. What did she say, Raquel? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, just she. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Entonces ella, sí, hits, right? The snooze sí. button. Okay, perfect, thank you. The last one, please, Alejandra. <coughs> what? The last one, number eight. Ah, no la contestamos con Jonathan. Okay, let's see. Can no you alcanzamos a contestar. Okay, okay, no problem. The next one, can you help me? Sofia Portillo, please. Sofia Portillo, can you help me? The last one. What do you have? Get enough sleep. Cynthia just, just gets enough sleep. Cynthia, right. Cynthia gets enough, enough sleep. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Sofia. Okay, so guys, it's almost time to finish. Uh, no sé si hay dudas or questions. If not, I will pass the attendance. I will pass the attendance. Yes. Eh, solo esa no comprendí esa de hits de snooze. The snooze button. Okay. Uh -huh. Que es cuando están los relojes y ahí tienen como una un botón donde usted lo presiona para que se apague la. Parar la alarma, la detener alarma. la alarma. Exactly. Oh, okay. okay, that is the like said, the snooze button, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the thing. Okay, so, uh, solo paso la asistencia, guys. Y si alguien se quiere quedar, 10 minutes. Welcome, right? Welcome. Yo sé que estamos cansados. If somebody wants... I'm going to be here uh, these 10 minutes. Recordemos que el viernes hacemos el midterm test por si, para que pueda completarlo, si lo puede completar antes. It's perfect, right? Lo ideal es que lo hagamos ese día. Ok, the fee is here. Second. Alejandra, Alejandra is here. Present. Okay, Alejandra. Eh, Alison Guadalupe. Present. Okay, thank you. Andrea Maria. Present. Okay. Eh, Cynthia Esther, Cynthia Esther. Cynthia. Present. Ah, okay, Cynthia. Okay, let's see. Dennis Vintes. Present. Okay. Eh, Dora Guadalupe. Dora Guadalupe, Dora. Mm, it's not here, Dora. Okay, let's see. Elizabeth Magali. Elizabeth, no. Emma Gloria, Emma Gloria. Present. Okay. Gabriela Beatriz. Gabriela. Present. Oh, there you are, Gabriela. Jonathan Alexis. Jonathan. Present. Okay, got it. Eh, Jose Luis. Jose Luis. Present. Okay, there you are. 
and Karina del Carmen. Present. Okay, thank you, Karina. Maybe, maybe. Present. Okay, thank you. And uh, Raquel Beatriz. Raquel Beatriz. Present. Mm, Roxana Lisset. Present. Okay. Ruth Veronica. Ruth. Sophia Stephanie. Sophia. Present. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, Stephanie Raquel. Present. Okay, thank you. Victor Manuel. Is your Victor? Present. Okay, there you are. And uh, Wendy uh, Alvarado, yes, right. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. No sé si alguien se va a quedar. I'm going to stay here to you. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Cynthia. Good night. Good night. See you. That's it.